<coughs> on va le dude Princess. Well, hello everybody, YouTube, it's me again, Robin the Song of Day Dude, and this basically is only my response to Amy B's questionnaire, Getting to Know You. <coughs> yeah, well, this is actually my Getting to Know the Song of Day Dude for one. Music, please. To be honest with you, um, this was uh, actually the toughest one for me because, you know, I'm a big music fan. I love music. Music is my life. So, uh, well, there's so many inspiring, full, inspiring, inspiring lyrics and in, uh, all those beautiful songs out there. But uh, if I had only one to pick, it would probably be the first one from... Uh, yellow card song called Cigarette. It goes a little bit something like I'm watching the days burning up like a cigarette and just a few drags to go. I find it so poetic for some reason and so attached to my real life experiences. Uh, well, you probably don't know this song because even if you know yellow card you might not know this song so I'm probably gonna do a video about it. I'm probably gonna sing the full song in another video so uh, I hope you'll see it and I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Question number two, please. <coughs> On this one, I had really no hesitation whatsoever. I would go with taste. Because, you know, a woman's perfume can be the most delightful thing in this world and I just wouldn't want to miss it. Uh, I'm a very visual guy and I'm quite the curious type, so my eyes are very important for me too. Uh, <clears throat> as for hearing, are you kidding me, man? Music is my life, sound is my life, and I couldn't be happy without it. Uh, then uh, you'd go with uh, <clears throat> touch, which I want to keep for many obvious reasons that I just won't mention right here. So yeah, I think uh, taste would be the most r uh, rational answer to that question. <clears throat> Next! that's really an easy one for me <clears throat> you know the guest of honor would be with no surprise everybody knows it already that would be Jim Carrey of course I'm a big Jim, Jim Carrey fan but in humoristic ways I'd add also Robin Williams and Adam Sandler I think it would be a nice mix for musical uh, uh, artists I would uh, bring also Teddy Geiger and I'd bring um, what's his name uh, John Vesely, yeah, he's the guy behind everything in a, a secondhand serenade. It's a awesome group, and he simply does pretty much everything in the group. He does uh, the vocals, the back vocals, the music. He does the production. He does everything. He's a genius. If you don't really know about secondhand serenade, uh, you should pre probably go look for it because uh, it's a uh, quite an amazing group, and it's the future in the new wave of music. And then I would add uh, Jason Mraz and uh, Andrew McMahon. Andrew McMahon, if you don't know, he's the singer uh, behind um, Something Corporate, which is an amazing group too. And uh, I've always had a few questions to ask him, so that would be it. Uh, so that's it for the seven. One, two, three. Yeah, the count is there. Uh, fourth question, please. Good old homemade hamburgers, you know, it's juicy, it's big, it's there, you just eat them, you're full and it tastes good. Perfect meal for me. Homemade hamburgers, yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, 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 uh, 
uh, my answer to this might sound a little kitschy and cheesy, but uh, if there was one thing I'd like to do most of all would be um, to help people out, help others out, yeah, and try to bring a smile to their face uh, all of the time, you know, even though it's not humanly possible. Uh, well, that's the only thing I'd want to see. Everybody happy. Let's just have a fun party all around the world. Well, you know what? At first, I had like two uh, answers for that question. First one was uh, Colin Farrell, but I took him out. Uh, and then I thought to myself, who could be the only guy who could try to find a way to bring all those multiple faces that I have into one simple character because I'm a pretty much multi-faced guy I don't know how to say that but uh, I have pretty much different aspects of myself and who could be the only guy to do that well the answer is quite easy that would be Johnny Depp he's the only one who could bring all these emotions and characters into one simple little person which would be me so I think I'd hire him uh, right away <clears throat> That's a good one. Uh, really, I didn't know what to answer at first, but then I thought to myself, you know, that, that gun that Batman has with the rope and everything, you just psh, psh, like hang everywhere you want, that would be awesome. Oh yeah, and uh, swim aids, because <clears throat> I can swim. Can you imagine a superhero that can't swim? Hey, song of day, dude! Lady in distress, you should go help her out right away! Yeah, well, I can't. Why do you say that, Song of Day, dude? Well, I can't swim. That would be odd. <clears throat> meep, meep. Uh, well, uh, actually, the nearest book doesn't even have 32 pages. And, you know, 100% of my books well they're in French so you probably wouldn't understand anything anyway so if you really want to know it then just ask me again huh and last but not least oh god I'm really not the best person to ask this question to because I'm such a movie lover you know and uh, to be honest with you uh, the movies that came out in the last past seven years well they disappointed me a lot and if I'm starting to talk with, about movies that came out before that, well, there would be just too much. And so I've decided to find a top five list in the by, past uh, seven years, actually. So I'm going to start off with uh, <clears throat> Tom Cruise and The Last Samurai. Actually, yeah, <clears throat> I think everything is brilliant in that movie. Uh, the acting, uh, uh, the plot is wonderful, uh, the camera angles, the views... Oh, well, everything's amazing in that movie, so yeah. Number one, uh, Last Samurai. Uh, then I'd easily go with Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. You've got brilliant acting there by Jim Carrey. Yeah, it's uh, one of these roles that he wasn't too uh, familiar with before. Now he's starting to do some other stuff, but in this, it's simply amazing. The plot is very good too, I like it. The only bad note I see in that movie is that, well, I personally don't think that... Uh, Kristen Dunst should be an actor but hey that's just my humble opinion right <clears throat> so yeah eternal sunshine of the spotless mind in number two number three would be click not for the entire movie yeah. I mean it's a good movie but not for the entire movie but only for the you know that that sad scene at the end no I'm not the kind of person that cries during movies and I never thought that Adam Sandler would be one of them that would make me cry and he did it brilliantly I was so amazed by that scene that's why it deserves the third spot then you might say it's an awkward choice but I'd go with radio as number four yeah cuz uh, well you know it's a very touching story and I really like Cuba Gooding Jr he's a very nice actor he's got a hell lot in front of him and I wish him well so number four uh, radio and last but not least everybody knows it everybody chooses it and no wonder why the gladiator everybody knows the gladiator and everybody loves it it's a brilliant movie an eternal classic I think everybody throughout the years will like this movie so <clears throat> yeah 
the questionnaire is finally over so uh, I hope you enjoyed the answers and now I'm gonna go check out part two to answer again for the part two I'm trying to think logical right now so see you guys later on YouTube